heart there. It's your dude, Malcolm Luther. Hi there, and welcome to this week's Open Source Arting with Malcolm Luther of the Chet Manley Get Down, Get Down. Seems like we're getting a little bit closer here, people. Uh, I'm opening with a crawl. I made all of this inside a blender. You can see the comic book influence and in where I'm going. This week, I'm going to be doing a sort of like a tutorial. All of the programs that I'm using here, my like software toolkit, are portable apps. So you can get Blender, Krita, Alchemy, all of these and put them onto a memory stick or a thumb drive, less than eight gigs. And then you can always carry your arting software with you and have all your settings set the way just like you like them. Just a little hint, something to throw out. If you want more in-depth tutorials, tell me, but that stuff always seems a little bit boring to me, if you know what I mean. Um, how I start out most of my work, phone, pencil and paper, or on the big computer, is I use a software called Alchemy or Drawchemy, and what it gives me is the ability to draw with shapes and colors. And it kind of randomized both of them. Uh, I've been using those. I learned about those from a, a guy, a cat named David Revois, who's a French artist that I jacked a lot of. Like I saw when I saw what he was doing, and also Andrew Android Jones, that artist is another person where I got the idea of using alchemy. And I've been using it for so long, I've gotten comfortable with it. And yeah, I draw with a little bit of randomness in the shapes. And I think it gives my digital work less of that kind of stale digital quality that we're all trying very hard to avoid. Um, also on this video, you're going to see me go into a few of my other software programs. I have been testing out Sketchbook Pro by Autodesk. It's free now. It comes as an app for all of your tablets and phones, but it's also got a desktop component. That's what you can see me testing out right here. Uh, this gives you kind of a pretty good shakedown of what I'm doing when I say I'm shaking down the software. I gotta see if it works with the Wacom tablets, get the palettes right, kind of space everything. Speaking of the Wacom tablet, part of the delay and why you don't see any GIMP on this uh, vlog or podcast is because I learned. I was doing screencasts with ICE video and when I was screencasting, I lost the pressure and sensitivity and tilt on my Wacom tablet. This will not do. That set me back a couple hours, but once I figured out a workaround, OBS Studio, and just uh, record the window in the background, and then I can still see, you can still see the pressure and whatnot on the uh, final go. All right. Like, when I'm brushing the colors that you see here, that's what the pressure does. I have a really fine control with the Wacom tablet, but unsolicited plug, I wouldn't mind one of those fancy tablets that I see people testing all out from Nuon, and there's a couple of other companies, but I haven't gotten to that point quite yet, but be prepared for that. I'll test out your arting equipment to tell you if it's legit or not. But for now, I still use a 10-year-old Wacom tablet. It's a little bit bigger. It's like the medium-sized Intuos with the three-button scroll mouse and whatnot. But things that tank, and I got it at a pawn shop, which, if you're using the open source mythos, look at pawn shops for used equipment. It's a good place. All right, we're finalizing here, and we're at the midpoint. Okay, we're go doing good. This is Krita, and remember, I'm running this all off of my thumb drive. That's what's running the software. I saved the final stuff to the hard drive, 
but uh, I got pressure. You can see me importing. Ah, look familiar? That's some of the shapes from Alchemy. Kind of giving away some uh, how I always have random but can control it. Uh, Krita allows you to mess with all of the blending modes. Everything you can do in Photoshop, you can do in Krita. The buttons are in a different place, but Krita is well worth it for being open source software and worth it to know. And it's kind of like between Krita and Sketchbook Pro, I can simulate pretty much all of the mediums. I can't get impasto yet. I think that's the next big thing is to get impasto. Hmm, all right. We're past the midway point, and yes, I'm reading off a script, but it's timed up because I'm looking at the video at the same time. Uh, screencast costs, screencast software issues. I'm doing my finishing up in Krita. Oh, this video was all comped together, finalized in Blender, and I'm gonna do a much more extensive Blender tutorial but they're currently updating it as usual to 2.8 and kind of in between what can i how does it go kind of in between versions but the last part of the video that's on this was rendered in blender 2.8 you'll see what's coming up and then i do the just the slideshows of my um images that are towards the end i put those together in a geo mixer it's like a VJ software program. That with Blender, I don't need Premiere or After Effects. I'm good. I'm good. Particle Effects, I'm good. But uh, you can see this is one of my old pictures. I'd say this was shot probably 97, 98, because that's the old studio at a... Oh, actually, I'm not giving it. Photo Plus. That's what it was called, but it was the old studio there. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a goof, because you can see right here, I, sp I waste too much time getting the signatures right. But that's part to do with how I've got the Wacom tablet tilted on my lap, how I'm facing the canvas, but I don't know. It looks pretty well for putting a picture all together. Original art, boom. Now this could be printed out on canvas, on paper, or what have you, t-shirts, all original arting done right in front of you. I don't know, would you like to see more random stuff like this where I take pictures and kind of jam them together? Or do you want tutorials of how I use the software or a mix in between? I'm leaving that up to the people. We're getting close to the end here. It's time to wrap up. Uh, shout out to the Crazy 88. Those are my fans. Big announcements coming up to switching over to Patreon. Patreon alert. Switch to my Patreon for $250 a month. Going up to my birthday. I'll be rolling it up to the more this week. But uh, $250 a month or $25 for a full year. And you can have access to all of my beats, my music my designs you want a fresh new screensaver you want to use something as a background for whatnot one of my arts moves you i got you this is the work i did in geo mixer but all of these background images were drawn by me in dracomy that's the alchemy on the phone kind of working it out and whatnot Also, social media rundowns, okay. Patreon, MLH Studios. Every place is MLH Studios. Click the link, check out my Patreon. Then check out my minds.com. In less than a month, I got a hundred, more than a hundred peeps. It's way better at getting people than uh, another social media website. So Patreon, Minds, Instagram, and Facebook. Look for me, MLH Studios. Tell me what you think. I want to expand the show. If enough people get my Patreon, I can do a show and a comic book fools. Yeah, I got it like that. But I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for sticking around this long.
This is your boy, Malcolm Luther Harkness, the Chet Manley's Get Down, Get Down, or Open Source Arting with MLH Studios. See you when I see ya. Peace. This has been an MLH Studios Productions.